We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and today we're going to shine a spotlight on Kevin Riley, four-star running back who's a hard commit to the Miami Hurricanes. Very fun running back to watch. We're going to look at the highlights today. We're also going to take a look at his 24-7 sports player profile page to get to know him. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button. Tap it with the finger on your phone, click it with the mouse on your computer, whatever you need to do to get the job done because we're going to be covering the recruiting process for this 2024 recruiting class all off season long. We're going to do these deep dives on your favorite prospects so you can get to know these players. We're going to start going deep on all the positions this year. Usually it was mostly offense. We're going to do it all this year. We're going to go deep and we're going to start things off today with Kevin Riley. Click that subscribe button. Stop missing out. But let's look at the 24 seven sports player profile page. If you just want to see the highlights, Fast forward a little bit. I guarantee you get there. But one thing you want to notice here, but we're at 5'11", 195 pounds. Could be a little bit bigger by now. If you know, if you've been reading up on him, if you're around that Northport, Alabama area, and you kind of know his high school or situation or anything, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. But 24-7 Sports has him ranked as the RB5 in the class, RB4 in the composite. Still a top-tier prospect here. That's a good thing to look at. But what I like to look at when looking at these prospects is the offers. Who's sending these offers? How many is he getting? He's got 28 right now. One visit. He's had more visits than that. But looking at the list here, just from the top here, Miami, Alabama, Auburn, Arkansas, we got Cincy. We got top tier power five schools as it should be since you're rated one of the top running backs in the class here. And then some accolades to look at here. Under Armour All-American game, Alabama, Mississippi All-Star game. And then they're talking him up here. Unverified 5'11", 195. So it's not verified. He could be bigger or smaller. I imagine since this was written in on February 14th, he's probably a little bit bigger by now, especially now that we're in the off season. He's probably starting to bulk up a little bit. Uh, appears to possess growth potential, so he can fill out that frame. Upright inside runner that exhibits good patient and vision. That's going to be fun to watch. We're going to watch him turn together some moves in the open field. I guarantee we see that. Shows the ability to change speeds and accelerates quickly, so we're going to have some bursts here. Displays good balance, body control, addition to play strength. So we're going to finish our runs here. Looks like north-south runner that projects as a multi-year starter at the Power 5 level. Looks like he was productive. 1,300 yards in 2022 and 11 touchdowns, 6.43 yards per carry. Just recent on the timeline, he did visit Auburn in September. Something to note here, but mostly been with Miami. Hard commit there. So imagine that's where he's going to be at. But that's it on the scouting report here. So we got a four-star prospect. Everybody's after him. 28 offers. That's a good sign here. But let's take a look at the highlights. Let me know what you see. Let me know if you like him or not. Let me know if you're a Miami fan you're excited about him. I want to hear about it. But we're going to see the highlights right now. So the first two minutes or so, it's going to be his senior highlights. The back end after that, the last five or so is going to be his junior highlights. I put them together because we really didn't get much from his senior year that he put on his huddle. So I added them together. Let's take a look at Kevin Riley here. Let's see what we can see out of him. Already see footwork. We already see vision, vision hitting a hole here and into the second level. We're pulling away. They're actually closing the gap here a little bit on that run, but still. Again, we're finding the hole here, hitting the outside, moving through trash. Still haven't seen enough to really make a fair play on him. But we're seeing good footwork. He's moving laterally on a lot of these runs here, on a lot of these cuts. Seeing some contact balance. Is moving laterally pretty well. Has a good read on the momentum around him. I can see that when it comes to analyzing the defenders. Is patient. Working through trash on a lot of these runs. I like that. I like that. Not just the easy runs where you're up the gut and it's quick 95 yards. It's him working through trash, moving the pile like that. I like that. They got that little square at the top here. We're getting the pitch. We're going to hit this corner here. Let's see what happens. Okay, we get to the outside. Follow your blocks. There's the hole. Gets through that. Holds his feet. Good balance, like they said in the scouting report. Good contact balance as well. You can't bring him down. Fights for every inch there. Finds that hole that was kind of tight. 
And now we're in the open field. Looks like we got some speed, more than enough to get the job done, but haven't seen the right runs to really get it a fair gauge. Let's just say that. He goes out of bounds. On that second time there. We're hitting to the outside. Looking solid. Taking the run. Patience. He does have good vision, though. He had like two opportunities there. One in front of him, one to the left. Chosen one to the left. Nice stiff arm. He has good feet, too. His feet's nice. So he can catch the ball. Turns with it. We're up there. That's going to be easy money, though. It's an easy play. Up the gut. Good little stutter step there in the middle of the hole. And he's off to the races. He does have good vision. He does see things very well like that. Sees it. Gets to it. Good balance. Good balance. Put his hand in the dirt and kept it going. Up the gut here. Follows that block. Smart move. Very cerebral. Hits that. Very smart. He's quick when it comes to these decisions too. Very quick at it. Up the gut here. Finds the hole. Now we're going to kick it outside. Up the gut again. Up the middle. We're going to find the hole. Ooh, it finds that thin lane and he's gone. He saw it quick. And we're pulling away. We're pulling away. They ain't going to catch you. They ain't going to catch you. Touchdown. I like that run. I liked how he found that little hole so quick. It looked like there was something bigger to the other end, but he found that little lane and he was gone. Here we go in the open field. I think we might be to the junior highlights by now. Maybe. Second. Maybe I should do like a little card between them so we have an idea. Maybe I'll do that on the next player I do this with. But he's got good vision in the open field too. Not just at the line of scrimmage, but in the open field. He just reads the feel of the momentum of the defenders around pretty good. Getting downfield. Finds the ball. Cuts it up. Catch the ball in the backfield a bit. We saw, what, two catches so far? Nice little handoff. Hits it. Finds it. Good vision. He does have good vision. Good little pop in the open field there. I like how he moves laterally. I think I've said that a lot. I'm looking at his frame now. His frame's good. He's got a good frame to him at the high school level. And he's pulling away. He's got speed. He's got more than enough to compete at the next level. I'm not super concerned. Everything else just got to come together here. Look at the contact balance. He just keeps moving. Keeps that feet going. He's able to get some yards after contact there. I like that. I like that. We're going to follow the block. Roll around here. Kills the man. Okay. I like that he runs with power. He's assertive and he's aggressive as well. That's good. Change the direction. Again, he's got good feet. He's got good feet. He can change speeds as well. And when he's changing directions, it's limited movement. Like, it's just not, not no wasted movement involved. Like, that really saves you on the speed, too, because it makes you appear faster than what you are and makes you faster than what you really are compared to other running backs. Does that make sense? Because if you can make that decision quick, and then there's, like, like that stuff right there. That contact balance, that feet are sweet. Keeps his balance really well. Like being able to make these quick decisions and find the hole really adds to your stock and your wow, he killed a dude right there. He is an aggressive runner. I like that. But just being able to make quick decisions make you quicker. That, that's probably what I, that's what I'm saying. Making quick decisions makes you quicker. Bam, runs right through a dude. And then efficient footwork makes you quicker as well. Because less chops to your steps. Boom. Just running through, dude. I like how aggressive he is. And turn around and talk some shit. I like that. He's aggressive, assertive. It's his field. It's his ball. Bam! Oh, my goodness. Oh, he killed a guy. Here we go. Finds the hole. This guy operates with a lot of good finer nuances here. Hits it. Nice little jump cut there, dead leg, whatever you want to call it. He covers a lot of ground with that, laterally. Boom, hits the hole. We're going the opposite way because I see it. And he's going to run through that crevice. That's a good gain right there. I've seen a lot of good stuff from this dude. Here we go. 
no delay screen. Easy, easy in the backfield. Nice stiff arm. And then in the scouting report, he says he has the frame to add weight. Yeah, which is a good thing because you want to develop and get bigger. And you want to have the frame for that. That makes sense. And he's assertive. As he gets bigger and stronger, he's just going to kill more people when he runs through them. He should keep that speed as long as he puts it on the right way. Shouldn't be too bad, but he's looking solid. He's looking solid. There he goes, running through dudes. I like his assertiveness. I love how aggressive he is. I like him just running through people. I like him at the point of contact. I like his decisiveness. I really do. He's, it makes him quicker. When you can find the hole quicker, you're quicker. And that's the thing about that. And he'll find the skinny hole. He'll find the hole just a few yards away to the right. And he's got the feet to move laterally well to get him there. And he's he's an all-purpose running back. He's got the jack-of-all-trades with him. And he's a very good running back prospect. and catch the ball in the backfield. Catch it downfield a little bit. He's got a little pop in the open field. You can say that. He's got more than enough speed to get it done. I think if he goes to Miami, he's going to be a decent asset there as he develops. If he goes anywhere else, he'll be good too. I think he's got a lot of room to grow here. I think the frame's good. I think he can add some size. He's got a good frame for that. So I definitely see him getting bigger. And with how assertive he is, I would not be surprised if he does love the weight room. I would not be surprised if he's a weight room warrior with how he plays the game because he likes to run through faces Marshawn Lynch style. He likes to hurt people. He gets aggressive. And you kind of like to add too with your running backs because you know what? If you need to get that extra yard, he's going to do whatever he can to get it. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.